first podcast and I love you and I appreciate it. I'm honored. So yeah, it's excited to like talk to you. Well, I'm happy <laughs> that you're, you're popping your podcast uh, cherry on uh, this one. Yeah. With us. Thank you, man. I'll never forget you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. You, every podcast you will compare looking back to this one, like, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, we're going through a reality. We're going through like an identity crisis in America. I think you had a you got a little through. slap in the face that I don't think you've had for yeah. ever, maybe <laughs> not for a long time. So I see that right. So he gets killed. Everyone posts the black box. Peaceful protest happening. Then the riots start, and like then the looting starts. And Santa Monica, of all places, gets hit really bad. And then the narrative changes publicly to like, like, okay, yeah, black people get killed, but you shouldn't loot. You know, like it was, it was, yeah. it, it turned into this, like, it turned into like, it just took away from like the positive change that was going to come out of this negative thing because now there was this negative feeling attached to, to black people again. like that happens and so lee like i said beautiful idea comes home like she she was like gone for a week comes home like a week after you know like three days after like this is all it like cools down and sees all these wood panels boarded up and it's like these are blank canvases like this can be this but it can also be this we're gonna change the narrative we're gonna do a peaceful painting of this city of santa monica like and that's what started literally like paint the city peaceful I don't blame like I don't blame people for racism I really don't and you shouldn't because like it's just the time we're in like I didn't choose to be in this timeline neither did those people yeah they didn't choose their history you know but that's why I think once again going to like our collective conscious as a humanity like those things could exist because of how we exist but as times change you know like your your racist nine-year-old son now I might have a phone and see yeah. everybody posting black boxes and be like, what's this? And be like, yeah. oh, like, wait, everybody else thinks like black people are normal, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Like, yeah, yeah. And my mom's white too. So like yeah. that, going back to like make, shedding a light on stories that I want to tell like, and why I'm inspired behind this is, like, the life I've lived, like, I've been around white people who loved me my whole life, you know? Yeah. Like, literally since the day I was born, yeah. you know? Like, and I've been around black people who love me, and I've been around white and black people who love each other, yeah. you know? Like, so to me, this, like, non-coexistence is, like, what, the non-coexistence that exists is the opposite of, like, the life I've existed in. We're all tangled up in the barbed wire bullets and out of time the rain was surrendered the locusts and the fire